On day two of the Democratic National Convention, President Jonathan Nez will help deliver that keynote speech. He says that tonight is about unifying the party and helping make the voices of Indigenous people heard. I am honored. I am excited. The Navajo Nation taking center stage at the 2020 Democratic National Convention. And I'm glad that we do have an opportunity this evening to represent not just the Navajo Nation and not just the tribes throughout the country, but for all of us throughout the United States of America and to embrace diversity. President Jonathan Nez sharing the stage with 16 other prominent Democratic leaders, hoping to unify the party and inspire people to get out and vote. We also said to to the DNC leadership, you know, don't take tribes for granted. Most of the tribes throughout the country, yes, they vote Democrat, did mention to the DNC leadership that they need to reach out to tribal leaders and tribal communities. Nez is a chair member of the Arizona Democratic Party. He also endorsed Hillary Clinton in 2016, which is why he says endorsing Joe Biden is a no-brainer. I was supportive of Joe Biden since he was the vice president. You know, I have a great relationship with the uh, vice president during the Obama-Biden era. While Nez is Time on this national platform is limited. He hopes this moment will magnify Indigenous voices, not just tonight, but in the future. You got Native American Indigenous people that are still going to be here. Now is the time that we stand strong on our convictions and to do what's right and to unite. Nez says he'll likely also touch on how the nation flattened the curve. He's expected to speak around 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Reporting live in Albuquerque, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. The Native American Caucus also held a meeting at the DNC. That group is an official organization and caucus, and President Nez was at that gathering.